On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk a little bit about bringing up a cold deaerator. First, when we're talking about a DA, we want to think about what its job is. We're preheating feed water for the boiler and we're driving out oxygen um, to prevent corrosion in the system. So ultimately, when our deaerator is online, we want to see a temperature of 225 to 228 degrees and a pressure of five to seven PSI. Um, but when we start off cold, um, it's gonna take a while for that to happen, but there are some things we can do to accelerate the heating up of the DA. Because what we have to realize is by the time the boiler is generating steam, um, we don't really wanna be adding cold water to it. So what can we do to speed that up? Um, the first thing we can do is look at the incoming steam supply. Um, we've got a pressure reducing station on this to deliver that pressure um, to attain that temperature. Um, but a lot of self-actuated valves, Spence, Sarco, Armstrong, they actually require steam pressure to open the main valve. Um, so when we're first bringing a unit online, it's really worthwhile to open the bypass on that PRV so that we can get steam going into the deaerator as soon as steam is being created, rather than waiting until we've got 20, 25, 30 PSI to start delivering steam to it. So the function of this PRV is that steam comes in, goes through the pilot, and the pilot puts pressure on this diaphragm to open the valve. So if we don't have incoming pressure, it's not gonna be open. We typically have a bypass on a PRV for troubleshooting and general maintenance. Um, but if we open that bypass as we're warming up, any steam created is going directly to the deaerator so that we can begin the warming up process. So one of the keys to getting the deaerator warm and deaerating in general is getting the air out. So where does the air go? How do we get that oxygen out of this tank? That's the event. This valve looks like a normal gate valve, but it's actually got an orifice drilled in the seat to allow a continuous stream of air and some steam out the vent. When we first start up the unit, that pre-drilled orifice is pretty small. So we're actually gonna delay removal of air if we leave this valve at its normal position. So when we're starting up the deaerator, in addition to opening the bypass for the PRV coming in, um, we may wanna go ahead and manually open this gate valve so we can expedite the removal of that air. That's gonna give us the full port to dump air out. And then as the deaerator builds pressure and we can tell by temperature we no longer have air backed up in this we can throttle that back down to the normal position so we're looking at two different things opening a bypass on the prv and manually opening the vent what we have to keep in mind is this is supervised startup of the deaerator once we're in operation if we leave that bypass open we're going to be lifting the safety relief valves on this. So we have to monitor and once we attain the, a certain pressure on the DA, start throttling that bypass or close that bypass and let the PRV do its job. That's why it's there. But the same is true also for the vent. If we leave that vent open, we're going to be dumping quite a bit of steam continuously. So we have to remember, close that bypass close that orifice valve back down to its normal position once we're back in normal operation. 